Hey. Hey. My name is Vanessa. I am the owner of Bruma Co. And I think a lot of people are guilty of not cleaning their coffee pot very frequently. Now, the main coffee machine part, like this part, um, usually you don't have to clean it too often, but you, you should clean it every once in a while. Um, especially considering if using purified water or if you leave your grounds on the um, basin uh, pretty frequently, you want to make sure that it's clean. Now, for the purposes of this video, I let this coffee pot get really disgusting. Thank me. Thank me right now in the comments or I'll beat you up. Anyways, so <laughs> oh, I have this awesome coffee maker that's been surviving since college. Let me show you. Usually, you're all familiar with this coffee maker or something similar. Um, so I've had it forever now and it's helped me through the hardest parts of my life. Um, but basically it's two components. It's the basin which and all the electrical components with the water filter, or the water uh, reservoir, and then the mug or I don't know what this is called. This part. And it's just two parts. It's an automatic drip coffee maker. So some things that happen when you don't clean it, there are two things basically. Mold can grow places that you don't want it to grow. Um, things inside the machine can calcify because of the water that you use. Um, and there are different products that can help you clean this. Um, I've heard people use vinegar and water and I've heard people use um, the, what I use, which is like this chemical thing that like dissolves everything. You just have to run it through several times. Um, but yeah, so let me show you how disgusting it is. Let's look at the coffee pot first. If we were to take a closer look, you can see some mold in there. I did that on purpose. So you can see what happens when you leave coffee in there, especially with water. It's really disgusting. You can see it's a little dusty on the outside. I think I left it for about a month to a closer look because I was mortified. Okay. Take a deep breath, y'all. That's what happens when you leave your coffee stuff in there. That is mold. That's disgusting. And I don't want to touch it. And I feel like I'm getting a fungus right now. Um, <laughs> this is why your coffee tastes weird. I mean, like, it might not be as aggressive as this, but it's still, if you have even a little, oh my God, that smells bad. <laughs> Yeah, that's gross. I did it for you, remember. You gotta subscribe now because you're, you saw that gross shit. Okay, my poor coffee maker. But I wanted you to see what happens if you even leave like two grinds in there. There'll be mold and it will affect how the coffee tastes. And you don't wanna be ingesting that. I'm so that's a very drastic thing that happens, but it happens, right? So. Is it salvageable or should you just throw the entire thing away? No, like we don't want to, you know, be an environmental hazard by throwing away perfectly good appliances that just need a little bit of TLC. So what we're going to do first, and I'm going to run you through um, exactly the steps that you need to do. First, you need to take out any of the stuff that's in there, water, uh, coffee grounds, filters, anything that's in there, in the main system, the main thing. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a bunch of soap and some water and you're gonna like scrub the shit out of it before we start getting into like the insides of it. Then you are going to clean this part, let this part dry a little bit before we now put like a bunch of like just cleaning agents <laughs> inside of it. And we're gonna clean this too. So this is pretty simple, like just washing any other dish. You just wanna make sure you scrub inside, outside, and just leave it really clean. I like to air dry, but you can dry it out. This, the actual equipment, you can't dip it in water. So just so you know, like I just wanna be clear, you can't dip it in water. So you have to do 
a little bit of a process of running water through the drip coffee maker. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this easy part first because that part scares me. Follow me. As you can see, this sink isn't really that cute. Um, it's my painting sink. I'm sure you have a cuter sink, but leave me alone. So just like any other dish, you're just gonna quickly clean it. Like you're just gonna put some water in there. If it, there's mold that's really stuck in there, we'll just leave it to um, uh, soak for a while and you know, come back later. But I am, I think I can get it out pretty quickly. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that now. Yeah, we're just gonna wash it. Well, the pot is clean already. Now we're gonna move on to the next part. And now you're gonna clean the main part. We ready? A few moments later. You can call me Faceta. I don't care. I'm not touching that shit out. All right. So the first thing you're gonna do is get rid of that because that shit can't be in here. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, oh no, it's stuck. Okay. It, it's not gonna come out. Perfect. Most of these, that smells terrible, have like this button and sometimes you can press it and it'll like pop things out and I just did it on my hand. Great. And if you just press it a few times, it'll come out. Make sure it's not on your hand. All right. Oh. We're going to seal this bad boy up and throw it into a hazardous waste basket. I'm going to clean this. Look, look at how disgusting it is. Subscribe to my channel. I hate it. Well, that was horrifying. So. I'm going to show you what the coffee maker looks like now without that thing. It's soaking, by the way. It's, it's just not the Mormon soaking, but like, it's soaking. So, you see some coffee grinds are on there. But you can pretty much get into everything. Um, I'm looking at the straw, at, at least my model. Like, I'm looking at the straw. It doesn't look like there's anything inside the straw. So. It looks, it looks like, you know, a nice, like, vinegar and water mixture will get everything out. But, um, at the beginning I showed you that the hot plate at the bottom looks a little dusty and it's just basically coffee that maybe dripped out a little bit at the filter. Um, usually I'd be by a sink so this would be irrelevant, but there is no sink in my kitchenette yet. So, I have to, you know, for recording purposes. I'm doing it this way. So if you're in your dorm or something, this is a good way. Go by your bathroom sink or something. Okay, so what you wanna do is use a new sponge or use a dish rag. Yeah, so I'm just getting a tiny bit of soap, like just a little bit, just the tiniest bit of soap. Nothing too crazy. And you're gonna wet your sponge and you're gonna wet this napkin or kitchen rag, whichever. Okay, so what you're gonna do, you're just gonna go right in and start scrubbing. At this point, you're just gonna start scrubbing every nook and cranny. Um, yeah, there's not much to it. I, I usually go through it a few times. I think for this coffee pot, because I hadn't cleaned the outside for a very long time, it took me about two or three times um, to get everything out. So, I mean, most of the, 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 the coffee, the coffee, coffee, drip, automatic maker, coffee maker, <laughs> extraordinaire, um, is relatively clean. Um, I just like to make sure there are no spots anywhere on the outside and once that's ready just make sure it's super clean um i mean depending on how long you haven't cleaned it for so if you haven't cleaned it in a month like this process shouldn't take you that long tomorrow the pot's clean and basically all you do is run down some water through it a few times make sure all that nasty sh 
damn accidentally spill stuff so but um yeah and then you just run it through and then it should be ready so i've already run it through a few times and your coffee should be tasting better and if it's not it's probably because you didn't clean it right and you gotta keep cleaning it um i will see you next week i will probably teach you how to make licuados um i have a coffee recipe for that and we'll be using other devices and i'll keep making different stuff okay bye Do it because- ah!